Hi, welcome to Lori Farm. And this was a complete disaster. So last fall we tried planting garlic and I did them in these three planter boxes here, one that pretzels so nicely sitting on. And it was our first time doing it. You plant it in the fall and then you put a little mulch on top and then you just let it go all winter. Unfortunately, it did not work out because our chickens kept getting in there and scratching and scratching them and flipping them up. So I had to replant them a few times because we're in the middle of fixing this garden. We're gonna put higher fences up because we have some flighty birds that fly over it. Generally, these short fences worked when we didn't have flighty birds, but now that we have flighty birds, they get everywhere. Well, I'm pretty excited about today. The kids and I are gonna plant some test sweet corn for the year and get going on that. We're super excited about getting the planter box garden ready and going. Um, I already started a few things. What we have going over here is some garlic chives which we have from last year so that didn't really actually have to do anything they were already there we have our walking onions and then I also sprouted just some regular red onions that started sprouting from an old onion I had sitting in the house so we'll see how they do and then over here we're gonna do lettuce which is like a spring fall crop you don't want to do it in the heat because then it just tastes awful so spring we already planted some lettuce in there and we'll probably do some more again this fall. And then in between, I plan on doing some tomato plants in this one. And then in these two, right now we have beets going and we'll probably do beets all summer through here because we do eat a ton of them. And as you can see, we also started working on our greenhouse, which I'm really excited about having a permanent one without the plastic. We are gonna be building some more planter boxes right off the front of the greenhouse here. And we'll probably plant some uh, green beans in there. We're gonna be doing the same on the other side of the doors over here. We'll get another planter box going with green beans. And then inside, I think we're gonna do some green peppers in here and a few um, boxes. And then we're going to have a ton of other space to kind of build on and see what else we need to get in, in here for the year. So I think it's going to work out really great. I'm really excited about having a permanent one instead of just our pop-up one. And you'll see why. So as you can see, we've had some trouble with the greenhouses. Um, one being the weather has really been difficult to not shred it and tear it apart and having it up all winter hasn't helped. And then number two, which we learned this year was the cats like to climb on top and just kind of shred it with their claws. So we're gonna have to figure out something new um, with these ones, but that is why I'm so excited about the new one because we won't have any of those issues because it's gonna be hard sided with windows and you'll see that in the future. But I think what we're thinking right now, things can always change, is we might just wrap them in chicken wire and just use them as kind of like a fenced in garden to keep all the animals out of it. So with it being fenced in, that's gonna give us a lot more space to put like zucchini and yellow neck squash, which we've had problems with in the past with the ducks actually getting into. It's one of the few things the ducks actually um, destroy in the garden is zucchini plants for whatever reason. Um, so it'll be nice to have that fenced in area, get this all cleaned up and be able to grow that stuff without animal interruption. I hope it's gonna end up like last year where we had a ton of yellow nut squash in here and they just flourished and kind of took over the greenhouse. Which was a huge plus, it was a super nice surprise and it had made it. I didn't have to weed at all in here, not ever, not once. Between the plastic, the bricks and um, what we planted, it worked out really, really, really awesome for that. We also had peppers on this side that did amazing. So we might do that in here too. 
or we might just put them all in the new greenhouse. We'll kind of see, but they did amazing last year. So I'm hoping that with all of the new changes, they'll do just as, just as well. Uh, peppers are still doing great. I'm hoping they continue to grow all the way through uh, first frost, maybe even a little bit after if we're lucky because of the greenhouse climate, that would be awesome. Uh, we are in here harvesting once a day for the peppers and we get a ton of them. So we've had a lot of those. We've had minimal amount of pests in here. I think we had a few peppers get eaten, but nothing too crazy, which was awesome. I do think next year, less squash in here because it gets so overgrown. Um, but they are, they really exceeded my expectations on how well that they did in, in here. And the uh, peppers also. It's that time of year where I need a, a trailer instead of a basket. We already started planting our corn. We have about five rolls in already. We're gonna have a ton more, but um, it should be really exciting because we're gonna start seeing it germinate and sprout through here shortly, which is always a great sign for summer. So this is where Chaos Garden was last year which was a really fun experiment. And I'm really excited to do it again this year. We are gonna add about 1,600 square feet to it. So that'll make it even bigger and better. And I'm really excited to see what it brings. And apparently so are the ducks. We're really excited for a summer filled with gardening and a bunch of other really fun stuff. So check out one of our videos from last summer right over here. Thanks for watching.